So I'm staying at this motel. It's, it seems really rough, to be honest. It seems like really rough. The police are just across the street, like watching it all the time. So I guess there's trouble here and there's some really unsavory characters. It's, it's shared rooms as well. It's like hostel style, but luckily the guy I've checked in with, he's, he's like really normal and he's like nervous too. <laughs> So, I guess safety in numbers, but, but, but yeah, I guess we'll see if anything happens, but I, I won't be staying here tomorrow. Yeah, this place just gives me the heebie-jeebies, I don't like it. What the fuck? The police are here with guns. What the fuck? This is crazy. They all just appeared. They've been waiting for this guy. They've, they've been over here across the street in the lay-by. A car turned up and they all just like stormed. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. What? This is, this is sketchy. This place was $30 a night and I now see why. This is exciting. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> This is... Okay, they got him. What the fuck? What? Evening. America's a crazy place, dude. <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, they've they've now been detained. Okay, I'll I'll continue now. Um, I'll continue now getting my underpants and my socks. Oh, uh, please can I check out? Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, thank you, thank you. So it's the morning. I I wasn't murdered in the night. Um, yeah, this was a pretty sketchy place, to be honest. But the car's still here. I've just come out to it now. It, it still has all the windows, which I suppose that's only a positive. So today we're gonna go to BMW North America. Um, this is where my dad's car was built. He's got an X5M50D. Well, it's actually where all the SUV type four wheel drive for the whole world are built. Um, this BMW was built in Munich because it's a real BMW. But let's let's go and have a look. I, I can't imagine it's gonna be like BMW world in Munich in Germany, but it's worth a look. We're only what, half an hour away. It's not every day I hear. So I've just arrived. Um, it was it was a bit longer than I thought. It was about an hour and a half on the motorway. But the stereotype is true. Americans really love pickup trucks, and you see some really weird stuff on the motorways here. Um, so yeah, just turned up at the factory, which is just on the outskirts of Spartanburg. So I just had to stop at this sign. I, I've never seen this at a car manufacturing facility. That's definitely when the Germans meet Americans. So I thought maybe the employee car park could be quite interesting. Like there might be some really interesting BMs. Cause like in Wolfsburg in Germany where they build Volkswagen, everyone drives a Volkswagen or an Audi. But here it's very different. They, they, they really don't. Um, they all drive mostly like American cars, like Dodge, Chevrolet, Jeep, and there's just pickup trucks. So I guess, I guess maybe the staff here don't get special deals on cars uh, like you'd expect they would if they work in the factory. Okay, so I've arrived at, at, the, at the factory, at the museum centre, but it's closed. I, I didn't think to check, I just thought everything was always open in America, so we'll have to come back on Monday. Which is most frustrating, but because it's a YouTube video, it's now Monday, the weather's better, I've got sunglasses on, and the centre's now open. So they really do have everything here. To 
say they only make the X, X series, they've got a bit of everything to look at. I guess there's worse places to run out of fuel. I guess there's worse places to run out of fuel. Yeah. <laughs> but the thing interesting about this, this is what, this is a mid-range 318i four-door. Um, it was the first one that they produced at this factory when it opened in the 90s. But you can tell, because I'm not really sure if you can tell on the camera, but the panel gap isn't right around the door, which I find quite funny because it's in the museum for everyone to see. But ne nevertheless, it was the first one. You got to start somewhere. And it's really interesting to see brand new versions of old BMWs. So obviously here we've got a first generation X5 with no rust anywhere. It's, it really is absolutely immaculate. But I'm sort of used to seeing ones of these that go for 600 pound on Facebook Marketplace around England. So to see one which still has the original stickers inside and leather that is absolutely perfect is quite something really. So I've just had, I've just had some lunch before starting the tour. Had a, a brat versus sausage because I thought, well, when in Rome. Um, Five dollars fifty. Um, I can't really complain. But when I ordered, I had a brat versus sausage, please, and I was corrected by the friendly Carolina lady. Apparently, it's pronounced bratwurst. So it was still good. The bratwurst sausage. So the ticket says I get a free gift at the end of the tour. So I presume it can only be one thing. So I've just finished a tour and um, I didn't think, but obviously they're really strict on cameras. You're not allowed to set cameras in there. So that was a bit disappointing, but no, it was really quite interesting. This place cost, well, they've spent $12.4 billion on it. So there's a Beamer just driving down the footpath right now. I'm, I'm not really sure where that guy's going. Too many air dingers or pollen air. Um, but yeah, $12.4 billion I've invested in it since 1992. And 12,000 people work here? 12,000 jobs? That's crazy, but they have their own train station and everything. It, it, it really is fascinating. Um, so yeah, I, I, definitely, I definitely would recommend coming here. And one thing I did find interesting, considering this is the biggest BMW factory in the world, they don't build the engines here. The engines are built in Steyr in Austria and a place called Birmingham in England. So this place is really cool. This is a performance center. And this has gone the other way. Every single car in this car park is a BMW. So I don't really know well, I'm not, I don't think I'm meant to be here. I can't find the entrance. Well, that's what I'm going to tell the security guard. But look at this. It's just insane. They're everywhere. It's almost like we're a mile from the biggest factory in the world. We're now at the side of the, out of the track and they're doing, they're doing an event on a skid pan. And I'm not quite sure what this guy's fannying about. I, you know, I, I go around roundabouts faster than that when I'm delivering pizzas. Oh dear. I'm hoping this is just a warm up lap because this isn't very exciting, is it? Come on, mate, pedal on the right, pedal on the right. Come, come. Oh! That was not that much pedal on the right. The other right, mate. <laughs> Today there isn't really that much going on. So obviously there's all these cars and the more you look, the more you find. There must be 300 brand new BMWs here, maybe 400. Um, but that's probably quite a good time to end the video. Um, so yeah, I've been in Spartanburg, South Carolina, at the BMW factory with the English BMW. Um, yeah, if the, if the budget was further, we'd, we'd go on the test track, but I'm not working for five months, so 
so I can't really splash out a couple of hundred dollars driving a brand new M5 around the track.